welcome back to the video. It's Happy Prepper, and in this video, we're going to be making a hobo stove. So, what is a hobo stove? So, first off, it's a stove that you can make out of homemade ingredient ingredients that really everybody has at their home. Two, it's a stove that is very effective in burning fuel and really needs very little fuel to heat up your food. So, what is a home hobo stove made out of? It is made out of really simple tin really any can, but I'm gonna use aluminum and I think that's the better one. And really the cool thing is that really you can find a can anywhere. And a bunch of us, especially as preppers, have a bunch of cans in their house and canned goods so we could easily make a hobo stove. I mentioned this in one of my other videos. I forget the title, but it was like something about like multiple uses for stuff. I'll link it in the um, upper corner. And yeah, so I really think it's a really it's a really cool project to do and it doesn't really require a lot of resources. So, so hello everybody and welcome back. And before we get started, if you're a, if you're a kid and you wanna do this project, um, make sure your parents are around. My dad's in the background just in case I get hurt or whatever. And also, if you're gonna do this, I would suggest wearing gloves. So some of the stuff we have here, we have um, a regular can. And it really depends on what you want to cook. This is more just for like basic stuff. So this can, a regular size can, will work. So then we have some shears and then we have a hole tap. So first, we're gonna have to make an entry door for the, um, for the fire. So you're gonna wanna take your hole tapper and these are the best tools for the job. Obviously, some people use a knife, but I wouldn't suggest that because it's more dangerous and also you could ruin your knife. So, we're gonna put this right there and we're gonna wanna, gonna wanna push and then we're gonna make another indent here so we can make the door. Yeah. Okay. So after we made the indents for the door, we're gonna use the shears. Gonna use the shears. Okay, so this is where the gloves come in handy because the shears are dangerous to use. So we're just gonna cut up. See, look. push it up and so it's not the most beautiful because it has very sharp edges so you're going to want to be careful but still it will still work so then on the bottom since there's going to be a pot on the top we're going to have to make these ventilation holes on the bottom to make sure it gets enough air air so some people do it on the top too but um I've done these before and you don't really need it on the top. So we're just gonna make a bunch. The bottom. So we have enough ventilation holes. So a third step potentially was to make indents on the top. I've seen people do do it on hobo stove videos to make like a um to put like those little grills over them, then put the pot on them. But I don't really see a need to do that because a regular size pot could easily fit on it. So like, see, look, this is a pretty big cast iron, and it's pretty balanced out, and it can fit. So 
hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please smash that like button and subscribe to Happy Prepper. Share our videos so we can grow. Go follow us on Instagram. We are growing a lot on the Instagram, which is really good. And Happy Prepper, out.